So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a React Native component into an image and then share that image on social media. Um, so hopefully this goes well. I'm here at my, my little old man dog and he's not very happy. So uh, he might whine a little bit through this video, but I hope not. So I just got a basic project set up here. Um, really nothing in here yet. It's just some some bullet plate code And um, we're just going to create the component that we're going to use to create the image and share it Okay, I just got this pre-made um, little crash test dummy symbol um, And I just I'm just copy and paste that in here um, um, so we'll add some text in here um, and just so I want to show you that what we're going to do is we're going to take this text and the image and you know all the components within there and we're going to turn that into an image and then share that image so first step here we're just going to design what we want to share on social media so what we want to share is just this image and some text and we'll just add a little bit of styles to make it you know a little nicer looking okay we're going to import capture ref from React Native View Shot. Um, this is one of the one of two libraries that we're going to need here. One is this View Shot, which is going to take the React component and turn it into an image, and the other one will be React Native Share, which is going to allow us to share the image that we create to social media. Okay, I have a crazy cat also. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to create a ref to this outside view. And, and then, because we need a reference to that view to use for capture ref to uh, create our image. So now we have a view ref. And so we also want to create a little button. It's just going to say share. So somebody can click on that and open up the share dialog. Okay, we'll just style and text there. We'll add some a little bit of style to this button. We'll just make it red so it looks more like something you can click on. So now we'll go ahead and um, we're going to create this function called shummy sh share dummy image. And this is what we're going to run whenever the uh, text share is clicked on. So first things first, we'll, um, we'll go ahead and use this capture ref and we'll, and this is a really awesome library. It's really straightforward. I'll just put a format of PNG. You can set the quality. Um, I'll just do you know 0 0.7. And then we'll have our image there. 
So we want to take that, the URI, and we want to share that uh, with the, we want to open up the share dialog so somebody can share the image that they just created from the React component. We click on share, then it brings up the share dialog. And we can press Instagram. And it's hard to see, but if you let me zoom in and it says don't be a dummy, and then it has the share button included. We don't we don't want to see the share button in the image we capture. So let's take share and move it outside of the view um, that we're getting a reference to. Okay, so let's try that again. Open up Instagram and perfect. We don't have the share button anymore. So this is good. And I think this will help, you know, get the word out about our app, uh, make it easy for the users to share things. But we also can do better. Let's say we want users to specifically show um, this image on Instagram um, and we want them to share it as a story, we can do that with React Native Share pretty easily. But let's be a little smart about it. If somebody doesn't use Instagram and you see a button that says share Instagram story, they're just, they're going to just completely ignore it. And that's not what we want to do. So. What we can do is we can check and see if a user has Instagram installed on their phone. And if they do, then we'll show them a button that says share Instagram story and it'll open up directly to an Instagram story. Otherwise, we'll just say share and I'll just open up the generic share um, dialog. So on iOS, you can check by doing linking dot can open URL. So, and then at Instagram colon forward slash forward slash, this is uh, the same you know URL structure that you use to do deep linking on iOS. You can do that, you can, instead of doing a deep link into Instagram, you just check can I open the URL? And that sees if Instagram is available on the phone. And if it is, then we'll just set the state to show Instagram story. And if it's not, we'll, uh, you know, it'll, it'll set uh, show Instagram story to false. On Android, it's a little bit different, but share comes with this is, is package installed. So if you just know that my cat just tore down the other set of blinds. So here we can check is package installed. If you so once you know the package name com.instagram.android then if it's installed we'll sh we'll set show instagram story otherwise we'll set it to false. Okay, so um, on iOS, you need to update the plist um, to check for this URL. And I'll just copy and paste these permissions in here. And you would have to list out a permission for every social media you want to check. So mail to is mailing. You know, open up the email app, and then there's Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram Stories is a separate um, permission, so you got to make sure you get both of those. So now we've set those. Let's we got to rerun the app. Now let's change the text this button. 
So if Instagram's installed, we'll say um, show Instagram, share on share Instagram story. And if it's not installed, then we'll just have the share. Okay, share Instagram story. So see, I don't have Facebook installed, so if I put FB, it just goes share. But if I go back to Instagram, then it says share Instagram story. So that's how you know. Um, okay, so if they do have Instagram, we're going to share, we're going to share, we're going to use so if they have Instagram, we're going to use this share single function. Um, there's a couple parameters you have to put in here. We're gonna we're gonna share it as a sticker for the Instagram story. And then we can um, make the background color red, just just for fun. So border top and border bottom, or bottom, background color bottom and background color top, one fades into the other. So if you did red and then white on top, it would fade from red, red to white. So red didn't work. Oh, I think I got to do like the hex code in here. Okay, so there it is. That, that's it. So that shares straight to um, an Instagram story. Um, and if I didn't have Instagram, then I could pick where I want to share. And I think we'll just add a little more text in here just for fun. Don't be a dummy. Learn React Native. Make it a little nicer. Oh, it's not centered. There we go. All right, perfect. There it is.